students today we are going to deal about quartile deviation or semi interquartile range quartile deviation is a measure of dispersion you know that when you calculate mean there is effect of extreme vari- values on mean the extreme values in the data will affect the mean so we calculate the di- measure of dispersion so quartile deviation is also a measure of dispersion if you plot your observations you have a lowest observation and a highest observation and the quartile quartiles divide the observations into four equal parts you will have to q1 q2 and q3 q1 q2 and q3 are three quartiles which divide the distribution range into four equal parts each part contains one fourth of the total observations in the distribution quartile deviation is calculated using the formula q3 minus q1 divided by 2 that is the formula for calculating quartile deviation value of third quartile minus value of the first quartile by 2 let us see an example this is a data 1 3 4 2 18 11 15 6 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 first what we have to do we have to arrange the data in ascending order so the data is arranged in the ascending order 1 2 3 4 6 10 11 15 17 18 and 20 and 20 you see this now we have to calculate the first quartile first quartile q1 is calculated using the formula n plus 1 divided by 4 so here the n is 11 there are 11 number of observations so n plus 1 is 12 12 divided by 4 is 3 so the third item is the first quartile here the third item is 3 itself the second one is q3 how will you find the third quartile it is calculated using the formula 3 into n plus 1 divided by 4 3 into 12 divided by 4 that is 36 divided by 4 4 so the third quartile is the ninth item here the ninth item is 17 see this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 9 ninth item is 17 so the 17 is the ninth item so here in this problem the quartile deviation is 17 minus 3 divided by 2 that is is 7 so this is this was about discrete value now let us look uh, how to uh, calculate quartile deviation of the grouped data here there is a question frequency distribution of height in centimeters of 387 students and a school is given find the interquartile range and quartile deviation of height distribution so the height of students in centimeter is given 150 152 154 156 158 160 162 164 and 166 and the number of students in each category is also is given so i have plotted this in a table for uh, making you more easier to understand in the first um column height in centimeter and in the second column the number of students and in the third column we have calculated the cumulative frequencies cumulative frequencies in each of the row is calculated by adding here then the first row you see it's a 28 and the second column you got it by 28 plus 40 you got 68 again 68 plus 52 you got 120 similarly you have calculated the cumulative frequency and the total n is 387 okay now the n is 387 now we are going to calculate the q1 q1 is calculated using the formula n plus 1 by 4 here n is 387 plus 1 divided by 4 that is a 97th student so when you look back the 97th student is included in which category it is it will come under this category okay so the height of the 92nd student will be what 
it will be 154 i hope that you got the point 154 cm uh, is the height of the 97th student so we have calculated q1 now we go to move to q3 q3 is calculated using the formula 3 into n plus 1 divided by 4 so you will get it is a 291st 291 the students height will be the q3 here 291 will come under which group it will be in the sixth group here it will come sixth group so the height of the student is 160 so the height of the 291st students height will be included in the sixth group and the height is 160 centimeter so now you are going to calculate the interquartile range the formula for calculating interquartile range is q3 minus q1 divided by 2 so 160 minus 154 divided by 2 that will come around 3 so 3 is the interquartile range of this problem hope that this is clear to you if you like this please like comment and subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video